Well, this is the mother of all vigils. This is, this is the night. And we can't do it too quickly. And by the way, we use the long form at St. Margaret Mary's. We don't skip anything. <laughs> Did all seven readings, and you hear the wonderful responses that we sang, the music. What do you think of the music? That we... <laughs> You couldn't come into this church and pray because they've been practicing 24-7 for the last couple weeks for sure. So we're grateful for all of that assistance. And you are allowed, I know this is not too Catholic, but you are allowed to kind of, <laughs> it's not a sin to do that. But thank you so much for enhancing the liturgy with, with song tonight. Father Demetrius Dumb is a, a, a deceased priest of St. Vincent Arch Abbey taught generations of priests scripture. He was a, a, a scripture scholar and a, a quite, quite a renowned person. Uh, and I have had the opportunity to take a few of his courses too. And he passed away this past year, I think around 90. And he has written uh, for years, he and another one of the Benedictines, commentaries on the Sunday Gospels, which are kind of cheat sheets for priests in preparing homilies. Um, and his one for Easter I looked at this week. And he does it so well. And his words certainly will outlive him. But he talks about these three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the Triduum, the three days, really in a nutshell summarize everything that we believe as Christians and as followers of Christ risen from the dead, no longer dead, alive. And it is all about what God is and who, what God is like. Unselfish, unconditional loving. He puts it in just these simple words. We understand this. Jesus reveals to us that God is unselfishly loving. Our human love is tainted. It needs to continually be purified over a lifetime. But he talks about Thursday night. Thursday night, what is the meaning and purpose of life? What does Jesus do? Washes the feet. Unselfish love is the purpose and the mission given to us in this life. And it is very short. Don't we know that? Good Friday, unselfish love is difficult. The cross of life. Life does not get easier when we care about each other. On the contrary. The vigil and Easter it's kind of like it took us a while to get here for all the lights to go on. That wasn't the power shortage, outage. That was the, we start in the dark, light the one candle, the symbol of Jesus risen from the dead. We wanted one that matched Father Dan this year. <laughs> it's bigger than he is, I think. <laughs> and you did it very well, thank you. And that'll burn all year throughout the Easter season, at every funeral, at baptism. That's the sign that we have risen with Christ. But the vigil, it took a while to get, we went through the whole of the scriptures to get to Jesus risen from the dead. Unselfish love is our mission. It has, brings heartache. But in the end, it is the way to go. It is our destiny. That's it for Easter. Let us realize that this is what it's all about. Our unselfish loving in this life, which is the foretaste of the life that is to come 
what we say every Sunday, I believe in the resurrection of the body and the life of the world to come. Without, the, without tonight, forget everything else. This is it. Let us enter into this even more fully from the bottom of our hearts and commit ourselves once again, because we have to come back to this many times over a lifetime, that I want to live a life that is not about me only, but about you and for all of God's creation. The death that we have to go through is everything that keeps us from living that way. Jesus died that we would live with and for him and in that way. He is risen from the dead. Let us rise with him to new life every day. And we will share that new life in baptism with two of our uh, catechumens this evening and four who are coming into the church. So let us prepare for that now. <clears throat> 